Hey guys, what's going on? Oh my god, you just had to interrupt me, didn't you? Yes, I know I have to assassinate other targets. What up, guys? My name is Josh D2, and I'm playing some Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer. This is actually my, like, fourth or so match playing. I've never played any other type of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood before this. I played about three minutes of this campaign just to, um... I guess start it up. I, I really I really should devote more time into this game, but I'm just not. But really, the game is just so much fun. I've been playing like, you know, probably 20 minutes or so, and I played about three or, the, or so games after this one, and uh, wow, I just, so much fun. And I'm playing Wanted right now, so that's the game mode. I am the Doctor. There's about 10 or so different classes that you can be. It's not really classes, it's just different identities of whoever you want to be. And uh, as of right now, as you can see, I am the doctor, and I'm going after a guy with a, an orange beard on. And at the bottom, there is like a uh, a little compass, as they call it. You have taken the lead. Thank you. I've taken the lead. Awesome. There's a compass, and your target is displayed in the top right, and it just shows you what they look like. That's it. And then on the bottom, on the compass, it shows you the direction that they're in and how close they are to you and their latitude compared to everything else. So what happens is you try to work your way towards your target without making a big scene about it and then you successfully assassinate them. The thing that I've been having a bit of trouble is how do you find out who is looking after you? I understand that the point of the game is for you not to easily find out um, who is you know, going after you but I honestly don't know when someone is about to just turn around and knife me and what have you. Now the game is a bit long, so what I'm going to do is every time I die, I'm going to fast forward through it. So as you can see here, my target has changed once again. And now another Templar actually killed the guy I was looking for. So now I'm looking for someone completely different. What you want to do and what I've seen is working the best is to make your way across like rooftops kind of quick and then strike from above that's the best way that I've been doing it and or just like hide in a corner and then come at them real quick and get them like I just did right there I'll tell you what though when someone's doing it on you it's a lot harder to uh, to evade them and I'm still wondering how you can figure out like you know working around evading people because look like right here I had no idea that he was even looking at me and again I guess that's just the whole point of the game, but it's one of those things you really have to get accustomed to before uh, you start getting good at this game. Now there are different types of perks, there are different types of, and you guys might hate me, there are death streaks in this game as well. And it's kind of funny because um, the death streaks, there's only like a couple of them, but there's not, they're not really like that game changing. They're just, you know, more towards scoring, uh, more towards precision on finding your next target, that kind of thing. What the goal is, is that you want to try to find a group of people when you're walking around and whatnot. Try to find a group of people or a couple of spots to stay and hang out. So that when someone else is looking for you and their compass gets like completely large and it just shows that you're somewhere in that area, that they hit someone else. They kill someone else. Like there's another doctor right there walking. Theoretically, someone else could easily just have taken out that other doctor. And what happens is they lose the contract on me. They lose points. I gain points, I believe, for evading them and or they're coming after me like he just he got me real good I didn't even notice I thought he was just another guy or if they're coming after you you can somehow notice I really don't know how the system works uh, completely but if you notice that they're coming after you you can um, evade from them and here it says stun them I have been like bashing B and there's only like a couple buttons to use in multiplayer so far from what I've seen on this game mode and that is you bash B when you get someone close to you and you bash X when you want to kill someone that's just about the extent of it now the guy that I'm going after is actually running after someone else and now I'm on a chase again kind of confused on how he knows that I'm chasing him but that's how it apparently works now I want to got like a limited amount of time a little bit amount of view to get him and as you can see right here it's gonna be pretty simple I'm actually going to lunge it's like a commando lunge and take him out pretty easily now, how you evade something like that, I'm not 100% sure. I know there is a perk that will allow you to run faster, uh, you know, sprint faster, things like that. So maybe that's the answer to all these types of questions. I also know that doors like this will close 
so that the person behind you will kind of slow down. There's also those poles right there that will instantly jump you right to the top and other cool things like that. So maneuvering in this game, pretty cool. Finding people in this game, also a bit of a challenge and or a bit of a uh, a bit of an art, really. But as far as multiplayer is just concerned, again, just looking at multiplayer, the game's a lot of fun. And I, like I said, I've just played Wanted, and I really want to... I wish there was like a tutorial video on how I could easily learn a lot of the controls and things like that. That was a nice kill right there. She had no idea I was coming. No idea. But... There, I, I really wish that they could like teach me how to find out if someone's looking at me, how to scope around. I mean, there is this like lock-on mode where you can kind of check out what different people are doing. And in this case, I know that my target's him. That's just easy. And as of right now, it's like he's escaping, hiding. Oh, wait, that's me? I have, so like again, I have no idea that I need to hide or escape. This is the first time and has been the first time that this has ever happened. And I just get out of the line of sight of someone, and that's it. So again, I really don't know um, how to even find out if someone's chasing me. I guess it's just like the amount of movement that the person does. If they do too much movement, then my guy like automatically spidey senses that he's uh, chasing me and I need to run. Not quite sure. But I do want to talk about a couple of the perks. As you can see down in the bottom left, there is an LB for left bumper. Yes, I am playing this on PC. However, I'm using my trusty Xbox controller. Look at this. All those guys, I had no idea that he'd be one of those. That was actually a pretty good move right there. Just saying. That was a pretty good move. But in the bottom left, I'm uh, my one perk is that I can go in disguise. I'm going to do that here at the very end of the video. And it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a normal perk that you can actually use on like a class loadout. And you can change the perks. There's about 20 different perks, I believe. I could be stressing that number a little bit. Um, but in this case, I actually transform into a different character. And I could be um, really anyone. And I think it's like random that you get transformed into. So the person that's hunting you, it's a little bit harder to find you. So, but the issue is that you can be blatantly seen that you're going into transforming into this other... Uh, into this other costume slash look kind of thing. So, there is also another one, which is a, like, wrist-mounted gun. That is another one that will, uh, uh... I'm trying to think, that you can use as a perk. And now, right here, I know that this guy is up here. Problem is, I got him on the wrong one. So that's, that's pretty cool right there. He actually got himself in disguise, and now I can no longer go after him. He is out in the open. He is not... I can't say out in the open, but he knows... Um, that I can no longer attack him and he is no longer my target So because Contact I lost, lost that and because I got the wrong guy It was all a matter of luck that I just hit the wrong guy and look at that She even had like one of those red blinky things on her and I can't even find out why she has a red blinky thing on her at all I'm just like so in the dark so Ubisoft Please make a video or someone direct me to a video that I can watch where I can like learn how to play multiplayer and things like this because I would appreciate it a lot uh, I don't want to kill this guy, but I do want to kill someone that's pretty much close to him. There he is. Haha, -ha, I see you. I see you. Get over here. And what does he do? Uses a perk of the smoke bomb and then stuns me. That is one way. If you find out who is chasing you, you can bash B and it will stun them. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I don't know how to find out who's Contract chasing me. Massacre. So hopefully I can figure this out, and then I can release another video kind of explaining this to anyone else that might have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The game runs really nice. I mean, I have no issue with anything like that at all. Uh, but like I said, it's just really hard to get remaining. used to this. And look at this. Like, is this person chasing me? I don't know, because I'm about to just yeah. bash them. They were chasing me. I stunned them. And now this guy's gonna come right right into my blade. Not really my blade, but he has like a needle that he stabs in their eye and stuff. Oh, blood and gore, believe me, this game has it all. So let me know if you guys wanna see more content. I'm not gonna do single player stuff because that's just you know like a 25 hour plus storyline, I'm going to assume. Multiplayer I will do, so let me know in the comments down below. And hopefully I can get better at this game and get better than second place, which second place not too bad for a level five and or six at this point. Second. So yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. I have some Crisis 2 videos on the way as well. And uh, again, let me know about Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer and if you have any tips you can tell me. 
And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.